Storymaker here, and today we're doing our next chapter of the Batman Timeline. Now enjoy the video. Chapter 21, Bat Family United. Stephanie went back to the Batwing with Batman and Batwoman. I got the chemical, but Tim is in trouble, Stephanie said, telling Batman and Batwoman that Tim is in danger. Tim was sent to the throne room and his mask is off. In the throne room, there was Rachel Ghoul on the throne and Leia Shiva next to him. Who is this? Rachel Ghoul said, not knowing who Tim is. He's that guy that Cassandra keeps talking about. Tim, right? Shiva said, not happy. For breaking into our temple, I guess you deserve to be executed, Shiva said as the soldier's about to take Tim away. No, don't do this, Cassandra said, upset. Then all of a sudden, Batman opened the throne doors dramatically. Let the kid go, Batman said. The guards let go of Tim. You dare barge in here, Ra's al Ghul said, getting up from his throne. I believe he's here to take my daughter away, again, Shiva said, getting out her daggers. He didn't take me away, I joined him, Cassandra said, telling Shiva what really happened. I choose to be with the Bat family, said Cassandra. You betrayed Shiva just to join this Batman, Rachel Gu said, walking towards Batman. I have no time for this. Come on, Tim, let's go, Batman said to Tim. All of a sudden, all of the soldiers got out their swords. You're not going anywhere, Rachel Gu said, about to use his golden sword on Batman. Then all of a sudden, Batwoman came with her battering. Stephanie also came with her Batgirl suit. Batman charged at Rachel Gu and a big fight started at the phone room. Lady Shiva also about to attack Tim, but Cassandra went in front of Shiva with her sword. Hmm, you dare challenge your own lover? Fine, let's see what Batman taught me, Shiva said, about to strike. If you beat me, then you can be with your bat friends. But if I win, you will stay here, Shiva said, getting to her fighting position. Shiva tried to attack Cass, but she quickly blocked Shiva's attack. Good, I see that you improve your work, Shiva said. I don't want to fight you, but I don't want you to hurt Tim or the Bat family, Cassandra said, trying her best to block Shiva's attacks. During this throne room battle, Stephanie activated her glitter bomb, causing a glitter mess in the throne room. Cassandra came with her sword and she charged at Tim. Luckily, he noticed her and he quickly dodged Sandra's attack. Batman is struggling to fight because Rachel Gould is stronger and faster fighter, but Batman is good at blocking. Rachel Gould made a cut on Batman's mask, but luckily Batwoman came to save Batman, and they both started fighting Rachel Gould, and Rachel Gould is still doing his best to destroy Batman and Batwoman. You shouldn't be here. Now come meet your death, Rachel Gould said, still fighting Batman and Batwoman. Then all of a sudden, a pink smoke bomb hit Rachel Ghoul, blinding him from the smoke. Batman quickly punched Rachel Ghoul to the ground, taking him down with a good hit. At the same time, Cassandra is still fighting Shiva. She was able to send Cass out of the throne room. Tim is also trying his best to fight Sandra with a staff, and Sandra's sword is hitting side to side. You think you could just get your girl back? Well, it will never happen, Sandra said, as she threw Tim's staff out of his hands. You're wrong, Tim snapped, and he got up fighting a bit faster with his staff. Tim quickly jumped on Sandra, dropping her sword, and then Sandra and Tim are now wrestling on the floor, rolling each other on the ground. Then Tim quickly grabbed Sandra's sword. Alright, you win, Sandra said, trying to get up. Cass still trying to beat Shiva. All of a sudden, Cassandra knocked Shiva's daggers out of her hands. Enough fighting. Why would you and Batman have to fight? Could you be friends with Batman? Cassandra said, trying to calm herself down. 
there was a pause. I see that you improved your skills, so maybe Batman is a good teacher. Very well, Shiva said, putting her daggers down. I guess you could stay with your friends, Shiva said, as she went back to the throne room. Okay, Batman, it seems that your team are highly trained. I believe my daughter wants to work with you again, Shiva said, allowing Cass to join the Bat family. Hmm, I guess Cassandra's back, Batman said. Only came to the temple to rescue Tim and get the cure to freeze. But I'll be visiting Gotham to check on Cass, said Shiva as she started walking away. Hooray! The Bethel is back together, said Stephanie with her suit full of glitter from the glitter bombs. During this time, Talia is watching over Davian. Davian is fighting a wooden mannequin, training himself to become a great warrior. Back at the front room, Rachel Gu got up. Batman, promise me to never return to this temple, Rachel Gu said, wanting the Bat family to be gone. Now the Bat family, including Cassandra, went back to the Batwing. Meanwhile, at Star Labs in Gotham City, Batman returned the cure to Mr. Freeze. Here you go, Batman said, giving Freeze the cure. Well done. I didn't expect you to give the cure so soon. Now, let me do the rest, Freeze said as he's grabbing the cure. During this time, Stephanie, Tim, and Cassandra are at Ice Cooper celebrating Cass's return. Stephanie's father, Coolmaster, give free ice cream for the Bat Kids for the hard and brave work. Later, the Bat family went back to the Bat Cave. Hey, Cass, I have something for you, Tim said as he's going towards a big white sheet. Tim opened the sheet, revealing a black armored bat suit with a yellow bat logo on the chest, with a cape and a mask that covers the whole face and the mouth. The mask also has white eyes. Here is your new bat suit. This suit is controlled by the computer. I made this while you're gone. Tim said, proud of his work. Cass is speechless. I love you, Cass said, hugging Tim tightly. Now that's the end of this chapter. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next chapter.